New fallout from intelligence leaks last summer that revealed national security initiatives, including cyber attacks on Iran and classified details about the hunt for bin Laden. The FBI has reportedly opened a criminal investigation into senior administration officials. And now a well-respected columnist is suggesting that if those leaks are traced back to the Oval Office, it could constitute an impeachable offense. Jay Sekulow is the chief counsel to the American Center for Law and Justice. He joins me now. Hi, Jay. Hi, Allison. How are you? I'm well. So Mark Thiessen has written this column in The Washington Post in which he says that there is a bombshell story going on in Washington right now that not many people are talking about, and that is that the Justice Department and the FBI are investigating these very high-level leaks that came out last summer. How significant is this story? Well, I think it is significant for two reasons. Number one, you've got a potential leak of what appears to be a leak of national security information regarding this computer virus and our dealings with Israel and Iran uh, in order to implement uh, a stopping or a slowing down of their Iranian program, the uh, uranium program in Iran. So you've got it's a significant issue. And then you have to ask yourself, there's only a few people that would have had this information. And this has had to be highly classified information. And assuming the president indeed did not declassify it, and he made statements last year indicating that he did not, then someone leaked this information. And every one of these senior members of the administration, whether it's in uh, whatever department they might be in, are all required to sign forms and agreements that say they will not release this kind of information. And if they do so, they're subject to criminal prosecution. So there is a very serious story here with serious implications. And I'm glad the media is now starting to at least look at it. But the implications of this are pretty staggering. And, and by the way, the leaks that we're talking about are the ones last summer that say that the president personally ordered these cyber attacks on the Iranian nuclear program using a computer virus right. that was developed with Israel called Stuxnet. It, this was an incredibly damaging leak because it exposed um, intelligence sources and methods. So what would the rationale right. be for someone in the president's inner sanctum to reveal something like this? Well, first you got to look at, at the, the implications of what they've done. I mean, this was a successful pro program, by the way, and I'm glad that our government's able to do these kind of things. But now you've got to look at the implications. And why would it be leaked? Well, was it leaked because the president wanted to show that, uh, you know, he was supporting and working with Israel to stop Iran? And that would be, you know, I don't have evidence of that. No one has a direct evidence of that or even indirect evidence at this point. But what it does show is that the administration, which the president is ultimately responsible for, he is the president of the United States. This information got leaked and someone leaked it. And with all high probability within the president's administration at a senior level. And it's important that the FBI investigate this, but what's more important is that there be cooperation between the FBI and the executive branch here of government, between the president's office and the senior security advisors. Look, some of these folks are being nominated for very high positions right now with confirmation hearings tomorrow. So if, uh, if Mr. Brennan was involved in it, and there's no, I don't have evidence of that, no one does other than the people that are highly involved with this investigation, Congress has the right to know these questions need to be asked. And we have to wonder, who is mining the store here when you've got this kind of information being leaked to the press when it's as high-level security as this and, affects, and it impacts directly our national security? Uh, I'll tell you something. This is a huge story with really big implications, and uh, someone needs to come clean and come clean quick here. Do you think it rises to the level of an impeachable offense if somehow the president himself authorized this leak? Well, I mean, it, you, to, to re reach a high crime and misdemeanor uh, and moral turpitude, that's an awfully high standard. So I'm, I'm not going to venture into the, whether this would constitute an impeachable offense or not. I, no one has the, we don't have the evidence uh, showing that. But I'll tell you what it does show at a minimum, and this is where it's significant. If the President of the United States is running our national security through his offices, which is what happens in these kind of situations, and there is a leak in his administration, he is ultimately accountable, and those individuals that engaged in the leak should be prosecuted to the full extent of the law, and I'm assuming that's what the United States Department of Justice is doing right now with the investigation, looking at all those options. Now, if the president authorized this and we end up with a you know, Watergate type of scenario, although a far worse situation than Watergate, well, then you've got a serious situation there for the president. We don't have that evidence yet, but I'll tell you 
tell you something. Someone needs to figure out how this information got out. It's critical for our own national security that this information not be leaked. And I can't imagine the president declassified this, which would be the other defense here. I, I just don't see that. All right, we shall see what the FBI comes up with. Jay Sekulow, thanks so much. Thanks for having me. And a bombshell.